Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Or welcome to our channel if you're new. Today we have a video of a toy and comic show that we went to a week ago. Right? February 18th. Yeah, one of those weekends. Uh, it was local. <laughs> it was in a local shopping mall here in uh, central Illinois. Um, we had a great time. Yeah. Um, was uh, We weren't sure how it was going to be because it was in a mall and they were just apparently throwing tables everywhere throughout the mall. Uh, there was over a hundred tables and people selling stuff, doing stuff, crazy stuff. Artists, comic books, um, yep. pops, toys, yep. magnets, you name it, it was there. Yeah, it was very cool. Uh, we had a great time. Uh, you'll see the video after this. We just want to give you a little intro, kind of show you some of the things that we got. Um, and you, you want to start off with your what, what you got first? So, yeah, actually one of the very first, the first? The first table like we stopped at. the first one we stopped at, um, yeah. There was just a sign that said it was medieval romance, which we thought was paranormal. interesting. Paranormal romance. Oh, paranormal romance. Yeah. So, which, of course, caught my eye. And paranormal. then... I mean, I'm, we're not big romance, so don't, uh, but we do like paranormal stuff. So this is the book. It's called Warrior's Secret, and it's by Kayla Jade, or Michaela Jade, sorry. And um, according to the back of the book, it says, One horrible night, Cassidy loses everyone and everything she holds dear. The massacre which took her family left her orphaned and at her uncle's mercy. Her warrior spirit is quickly crushed under his harsh rules and demands. Lord Ian Hawkins has been cursed to walk the earth as half man, half demon. When he sees Cassidy, it is the demonic urges that prompt him to save her life and make her his. Yes, no female would want to live the way he does. Dark secrets and magic mark Hawk and Cassidy's bond. Can they truly trust one another or will they curse or will the curse Hawk carries condemn them to a life without love? So there were five books in this series, I believe series, there was I five. Think. And you'll see in the video. I think there was five. Um, she was very sweet, very, very, very welcoming, sweet. very nice lady. Was great she, to talk to her. She, she was, was dressed, dressed up. Had she had a, a dragon, dragon. Yeah. on her back. Very cool. Um, she said all of her books are available online, Amazon, Barnes & Noble, Target, wherever you buy books, you can find these books. I haven't started it yet because I've been working on some other projects, but I'm really interested to get into this and then hopefully be able to find and read the rest of the books in her series. Yeah. There is another um, con locally here next weekend. Next weekend, yeah. So maybe she'll be there and I'm going to try and read this before we get there. Okay, not sure what happened there. Camera shut off, so not really sure what uh, got recorded, but I'm going to try and read this before we go to the next con that's here in central Illinois, and hopefully I'll be able to meet the author again and um, get the rest of her books. Uh, she did autograph it. She asked first because she said once somebody yelled at her, so I thought that was kind of weird. Uh, why wouldn't you want the author's signature? But anywho. And most, most authors will sign their stuff because, you know, it's... You never know. Right, and it's a con, so you, you go there to buy the stuff and you get the autograph, yeah. the signature, whatever yeah. you want to call it. So There's some of the things I got, I had the artist sign, because it's like, you, you this all the stuff I have on my wall, all of it signed. So, um, yeah, so this was in a mall, so all the mall shops were open. Unfortunately. <laughs> we happened to walk past a Hot Topic and it, they had... It happened to. Happened to. It was accident. Uh, had Terrifier, you know, stuff. So I bought all. I bought the store out of all the Terrifier stuff because I absolutely love Art the Clown and the Terrifier and whatnot. Um, but we walked around. We kind of checked out everything and didn't record a whole lot because there was a lot of people and I didn't want to be rude and record them. And it was our first time, so we felt... Weird. Uncomfortable. <laughs> I don't know what the word is because then I didn't want to cross the line with anyone. We were just trying to record to put a little content out about the good time we had because we really enjoyed it. Yeah, and it was, it was so uncomfortable that like we would talk to them and had this whole conversation and be like, "Do you mind if I record?" And they're mm -hmm. like, "You should have done that before." And I'm like, "Yeah, sorry. We're new. I don't know what I'm doing." Uh, but yeah, so we kind of hit some of the shops in the mall, um, and you'll you'll see in the video uh, lots and lots of tables, lots and. Old, old school toys, um, just kind of stuff that I've looked at, like, I remember I had that. Son of a bitch, I don't have it anymore. Uh, but we had a great time. Uh, I did buy some, uh, 
I did buy some prints from this artist who was absolutely phenomenal. Um, pull up his stuff right now real quick. Sh shout him out. Uh, Jamie Coker. What's up guys? Chuck Shannon here. We're at the Peoria Comic and Toy Show. <laughs> to take three. We're, we're back again. This camera is being something stupid. And uh, we're trying to figure it out. So bear with us. <laughs> It'll just kind of flow together, I hope, when I get to it. Um, anyway, Chuck, Chuck is, was talking about his prints. Yeah, so uh, the artist's name was Jamie Coker. So I don't know if you'll be able to see that or not. Might be mirrored, but, you know, you'll get it. Jamie Coker. Um, awesome, awesome artist. He had, he had a whole wall full of stuff. Lots of stuff. He had books and books of stuff. Different genres, different takes on, you know... The, the classics, the things we all love and see. You'll see one of them that I, I we did buy one of them. <laughs> but uh, of course, he also had some awesome horror art. Um, and like I just said, I am a huge Art the Clown Terrifier fan. So this is one of the prints that he had um, on his wall that I had to have because that that just looks amazing. Um, so that's, that's one of them that I got. The other one, which was awesome, something I'd never seen before. Um, this is all the Jason Voorhees um, in one painting. Like I said, this guy was awesome. Look at that detail. Absolutely loved it. Absolutely loved it. And of course, uh, you had, oh, you buy two, you get one free. So. That's that's the always the thing. That's how they get us, because then we buy two to get yeah. one free. And uh, so I I was, I wanted all of them. He had so many different horror ones that I'm like, I don't know which ones to pick. He had the Crypt Keeper from Tales from the Crypt. That one was really cool. Yeah, yeah. And he had. Um, he had a, uh, the one from um, Ring, the Ring. Yeah. It was, it was just an awesome the rendition The Nun, of it. too. The Nun, yeah, all of them. But I figured, you know what? Let's buy one of the different ones. The silly ones. And this is one of the collabs that I was telling you about where he kind of mixes the genres together. Uh, kind of mixed with one of our favorite shows with her one of her favorite rappers. I like him, too, but she loves him. I love him. Um, and this is, what did you call it? Morty Malone. Morty Malone. They put... Post Malone in the Rick and Morty universe. So he's Morty from Rick and Morty, but he's posty. Posty. Then so, he has a little Rick yeah, charm on his Rick charm. chain there. Pretty silly. Uh, but like I said, awesome, awesome artist. And you see he signed it. He I signed all of them. Sign all of them. Um, but just very, very good looking stuff. Very clean. Uh, so that's what we got. There was also a... Uh, so you'll see in the video too, there was this one lady, we walked up to her table and she's blowing through a straw on these drawings she had. And like all this color is just kind of spreading all over the place. And so had, she was painting with watercolor. She'd mm -hmm. put the watercolor and then she would blow it to make it spread out on the picture. Yeah. It was pretty cool. Very cool. Uh, we'll say what Shannon said, but... Well... <laughs> John, it was weird to be blowing spit all over your painting. So you're buying a painting with her spit all over it. I get it. We didn't buy anything from her. It just looks super cool. You'll see it in the Some video. Some of them were cool, and we wanted to buy them, but we yes. spent too much money on Hot Topic. Yeah. My bad. Uh, but here's her information. And you'll you'll know it when you see it in the video. Yeah, you'll know it. Uh, it's, it's like the the watercolor spreads on the on the canvas. But she was so. one that I was we, we had a conversation, and then I asked, like, "Can I record this?" She's like, "Yeah, absolutely." So, uh, you'll see the video. Uh, we had a great time. Looking forward to the next one next week. Uh, if you like the video, like it. Leave a comment. Just uh, don't be a dick. We do this for fun. This is just our opinion, and it's just a silly channel, so don't be a dick. See you later. Bye. About to head in. I think I'm recording. Red lights on. <laughs>
first, sure. first, uh, first on the street uh, recording here. So <laughs> so we're not what sure what to expect. We're at the mall, so uh, we'll see what is uh, in there for us today. All right, stick around. Oh, no. 